Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your February read. Let's see what's um, going to be surrounding you, what energies are going to be around you uh, Scorpio in the month of February and how you can use these messages to best prepare for them. So let's begin. A warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Scorpio Spirit Tower. Alright, going through some major changes. Something that you've been trying to avoid. But you are coming into a place of uh, a lot of happiness, a lot of love. Maybe you'll surrender mode basically. I think um, February is going to be a month where you will be going into a lot of self-care, self-love, open heart, maybe sharing love and affection with others. Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are walking away. You are walking away. There's a lot of healing coming towards you, uh, Scorpio, in the month of February. This is the overall energy. This is a lot of healing energy. Maybe you've had some, maybe right now you could be going through a tower where you know, things have changed or there could be some, maybe, maybe you're not physically feeling well or there's been some issue which is collapsing something around you which was not working for you. Maybe you've been trying to avoid this tower for a long time because I do see the seven of swords in the recent past maybe this is self-sabotage or trying to not see the writing on the wall or something but what happens Scorpio is when we avoid the warning signs of the universe then the tower comes in and shakes up the shakes up our world so there could be some major changes it could be as simple as maybe you know you're moving to a new town or changing your job or a new house or mm, I don't know what but whatever this change is is going to be really positive Scorpio because with the king of cups energy coming in and the four of um, um, cup four of cups energy coming sorry four of swords yeah four of swords energy coming in in um, February things are going to come back into balance before I clarify all these cards for you Scorpio let's also take a blessing from Lord Ganesha let's see what Lord Ganesha wants to bless my Scorpio gang for the month of uh, February and then we'll begin so Lord Ganesha What's your advice, message, blessing? Oops, oops, see the tower? So many cards wanted to pop out. <laughs> okay, let's take one. Lord Ganesha, one card please for my Scorpio gang. One card for Scorpio. Here it is. Embrace. Okay, like the, it's exactly like the February energy is saying King of Cups. I think the softer side of you is going to be coming out where you will be connecting with a lot of people. It's time to, well, embrace the new. Uh, this is number 11 anyway, so it is a very, very divine number. Let's see what this has to say to you, Scorpio. Uh, number 11 is number 29, which adds up to an 11. Uh, so it's 11, 11, 11. This is a, this is like the tower comes in from straight from the universe. The universe is shaking up your world to bring in some peace, love, happiness into your life. 11, 29. Okay, here it is. Embrace number 11. Believe in yourself and others to discover a deeper importance to your being. Recognize that your interactions with others are important. Healthy relationships require a lot of work to maintain them. In many parts of the world, hugging is recognized as a familiar kind of greeting. In addition to being a manner of acknowledgement or support and reassurance for someone else. Ganesha is encouraging you to maintain a compassionate heart. Be nurturing towards yourself and others. There's a lot to be gained from seeing things from a practical or down-to-earth perspective when it comes to dealing with others or pertaining to your present circumstance. Focus on creating a balanced life for yourself. Remember that more can be accomplished when you are serene. This is your Feb card anyway, King of Cups. Look at this surrender mode that this King of Cups is in. Finding balance and peace. Be imaginative and helpful. Deal with issues as they arise. Keep your wits about you while you determine the best course of action and seek simple solutions to fix the problems with minimal fuss. Depending on the relationship of the people involved, 
a hug can symbolize familiarity love affection or friendship a person may hug another in a show of support comfort or to console there are there is an exchanging of energy that takes place as you give and receive at the same time all right so i think it's going to be a loving beautiful month for you scorpio there's a lot of healing within yourself and probably with others as well now, let's start the reading and see what comes up tell me about the tower spirit this is in their current energy as i'm doing the reading why is the tower here for their scorpio's current energy what's the tower bringing in or has brought in tower temperance oh this tower is actually balancing things out things were which were not in balance or things which were built on fall faulty you know foundations or things which you didn't want to see which you probably knew deep in your heart that this is going wrong that is going wrong uh, the universe is coming in to bring in this saji energy to you know kind of uh, bring back that peace and balance and harmony back into your life give me one more for the tower what's the tower all about spirit in their current energy it's too many cards let's take them one by one uh give me one more for the te- uh, tower please and the temperance ace of swords you cutting away you cutting away everything that was disruptive of the past and uh, focusing more on your future or you should be or you will be uh after something breaks down there is peace and happiness coming towards you uh this is going to be a brand new chapter brand new start but you may have to cut away something from the past scorpio right in the past uh, there is a seven of swords which means you were either trying to escape facing the issue yeah you were in the two of swords you were blindfolded you didn't want to see or you couldn't see there was a choice to be made which you probably stopped yourself from making and uh, when you yeah your in in a guidance was always there intuitively i think you always knew that there was something amiss but you avoided seeing the red flags but now with this tower coming in it's actually going to be very 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 beneficial to you because it's taking you straight to the king of cups energy which is like i surrender i surrender to the universe i'm i'm willing to go with the flow and that that is what is going to bring in the healing now So tell me about the King of Cups energy. What can uh, Scorpio expect now, Spirit, in the month of uh, February? What's the King of Cups energy? Nine of Pentacles. All right. So you're going to be self-sufficient. You once you go into that surrender and give all your troubles to the universe. This is there's a rebuilding which is happening, and this is something that you're going to be accomplishing very well and by yourself. You'll soon be growing. all your goodies on trees it seems uh, scorpio in the month of um, february this tower whatever is happening if something is getting over allow it is going to take you into a very good place where you'll feel good you'll feel balanced you'll feel relaxed and you'll you will have no money troubles from what i feel with the 9 of pentacles energy this is like somebody feeling yes i can do this by myself and i'm doing a great job of it uh, so money looks good there's a lot of healing in february what else what else spirit uh three of wands yes you have been waiting i think you have been waiting for your ships to come in and the now is when they are coming in because this card says you're moving forward there's growth but there's distance so you may have to move or you know expand or leave certain things behind and move forward to achieve this Okay so what should uh, scope you hold on to then spirit what is it that they should hold on to what energy what feeling in that spot you have the 3 of cups scorpio which is uh, hold on to that feeling that happy happy times are going to be here soon there will be celebration there will be joy there will be a coming together of friends and family and happy times once again tell me about the 3 of cups Three of Cups for Scorpio. Why should they hold on to this feeling that that's still going to happen? One by one, please. Here it is. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, there are fruitful events coming t- uh, towards you. So plan with care. Even if it's a little bit delayed and you're feeling frustrated and feeling right now all I'm going through are changes or towers. Well, once the dust settles, you will know exactly where to invest next. 
Okay, so what, sh uh, what should uh, Scorpio let go of then spirit? What doesn't serve them anymore? In that position, I have the Hierophant. Uh, Hierophant sometimes can indicate uh, little bullheadedness, um, wanting things to be in a certain way and not being willing to change or not willing to bend rules and st you know very being very strict on yourself or with others. I think that is something that you have to let go of preconceived maybe notions about how you want things to happen. Yeah, because that's only going to lead to more frustration, more pain, but what spirit is trying to say that with this ten of swords uh, uh, tower energy, <clears throat> th this is leading to a ten of swords which is the end of a painful cycle. So don't stay, you know, regimented into past beliefs or the way this is, uh, this was the way I thought this would happen or this is the way it's always happened, be a little more flexible. You have to let go of some rigidity to allow this Ace of Wands to happen, which is going to be a major breakthrough. It's going to be exciting. It's going, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a brand new adventure. Uh, yes, you may have to take the initiative to allow this to happen without having any preconceived notions about how you expected things to unfold. Okay, be in surrender mode. Allow the universe to bring in the new. So, what can become uh, Scorpio's biggest challenge then spirit or what uh, their blockage which they should avoid at all costs to allow this healing to happen, to allow these happy times to come in, what should they avoid? In that position, I have the devil, right? So, this could be fear, this could be upset, this could be anger, um, this could be an obsessive need to always have control or go by, go by the rules that you've set in your mind yes what spirit is saying replace the devil with the magician we've given you all the tools you need to create a very happy environment for yourself uh, scorpio spirit is saying uh, please use these tools to create a brighter better future with surrender and love and acceptance right these are both major arcana see the devil and the magician so, you'll have to leave the devil behind and become the magician of your own life now. Don't let this devil say things in your ear and keep you blocked and keep you feeling that why, 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 why did this happen? Forget about what happened. Think of what you're going to create now. Okay, so if all goes well, spirit, how will their loved ones be seeing them? People who really admire and love my Scorpio, how will they be seeing my Scorpio in February? They'll be seeing you in the Eight of Cups energy, Scorpio, walking away from unhealthy, unhappy situations. I think uh, something has been going on for a long time in your life where maybe you've tried, but you've realized that nothing from that really gave you the happiness that you really wanted, realizing all those cups were em empty and your loved ones will be seeing you now leaving all that behind and moving towards a very balanced and beautiful life with the Two of Cups. Right. So, it's like I said, sometimes we know what we have to change, but we hold on to it with that devil energy because we are afraid or we are used to a certain thing and then comes in the tower. The tower is when the universe decides to change things for you. Right. So, what Spirit is saying that once this change happens, your loved ones will be very happy to say that see happy to see that you finally walked away from all emotional disruptions and unhappiness from your life. And uh, yeah, moving on straight towards the Eight of Pentacles instead. You're replacing a lot of things. Eight of Cups is walking away. Eight of Pentacles is uh, putting in the hard work, the dedication, and being self-focused on moving forward. That's great. All right. So. Here's the secret message from the universe, Scorpio. But before that, let me take an affirmation for you so that you stay focused and you don't get stuck in the past. <laughs> All right. So, my angels, tell me please, what's your affirmation for my Scorpio gang, which they must remember, repeat to themselves, so they can move towards this healing, happy, new future. Once again, this one. All right. And this one says, Scorpio, discernment. I trust my intuition. Maybe you didn't in the past. Maybe in the past you were holding on to certain things, even though your inner guidance was telling you, do this, do that. You said, no, I'm going to stay. I'm going to do this this way. 
so now discernment discernment means seeing what you feel what feels right or wrong and trusting your judgment and acting on it your angel guidance is to look at the people of and situations in your life now and respond with your gut feeling learn to develop your intuition and ask the angels to help you discern the good from the bad they will prompt and guide you you will feel safer happier stronger and clearer angel wisdom reminds you that when you when you can be trusted to use your discernment you can serve the universe in a great way so your affirmation is i trust my intuition okay so let's put this here and now we take out the secret message from the universe so my angel spirit guides what what do you have for scorpio what's your message secret message ace of swords cutting away the past absolutely in certain decks we see the ace of swords with a crown on that uh, sword which means there is victory ahead of you you're cutting away anything that was not serving you to move clear the path for a beautiful new future exactly the same message that we got throughout so what else spirit please tell me about the ace of swords ace of swords why is this your secret message for scorpio the world you're ending a huge chapter of your life and starting a brand new one scorpio the earlier you accept this the faster the healing can begin the faster this new chapter can begin right listen to your intuition it's time to cut away something from the past and embrace a brand new chapter of your life use your intuition all right so that's what i have for you scorpio till next time then Love and light. Take care. Namaste.